MYOB Advanced is an intelligent cloud-based ERP system providing a sophisticated scalable platform that can be customized and connected with. MYOB Advanced provides the capability to connect to legacy systems, homegrown applications, and any other industry business applications that you might need to complete a specific business process or create completely new processes and experiences. The MYOB Advanced API is the hero of this connected world. It provides all the interactivity we depend on for a connected world and serves as doorway to connect with the MYOB Advanced Cloud ERP system. In this video, we'll answer some of the most common questions people have when dealing with an API using examples of common scenarios. MYOB Advanced comes with a default set of endpoints. External applications work with entities defined in the endpoint you're using. These endpoints are versioned, ensuring the integration doesn't break with changes based on system customization, localization, or any other changes made to the product itself as part of upgrades. Configuration of the API is done directly in the MYOB Advanced interface. Clicking the View Endpoint Service button on the Web Service Endpoint screen opens the WSDL description of the Web Service Endpoint, which is the base URL for your requests. The Web Service has both a REST and a SOAP interface. Before you can start using the API, you also need to set up an MYOB Advanced user with the correct API license. You'll use the login details of this user to connect to the Advanced API. Here we'll use a REST client to show the initial connection to the API. The API user's login details are submitted in JSON format. A successful login should return no response, as no data has been requested from the API yet. If the default endpoint doesn't include the specific field you need, this is easily fixed. From within MYOB Advanced, you can either extend the default endpoint to add the additional field or fields you want, or create a custom endpoint from scratch. In our example, we'll extend the default endpoint to expose the RRP field from the stock items screen. To extend an endpoint, go back to the Web Service Endpoint screen, click the Extend Endpoint button, and enter details for the new endpoint. In the new endpoint, select the entity you want to extend and click Extend Entity. You can now add additional fields to this entity by clicking the Add button. Each mapped object in the entity definition corresponds to the layout elements on the screen, making it extremely intuitive to search and add fields to the entity definition. Now we can click the View Endpoint Service button to view the URL for the request. To retrieve stock item details on a particular stock item, our request will look like this. As you can see here, the details retrieved for the stock item include the RRP value that we just added. The Advanced API comes with all the features you'd expect from a modern API, providing the ability to create new records and update existing ones, delete records, and retrieve data sorting and filtering as necessary. The REST API follows the OData protocol for querying data with parameters like expand, filter, top, and skip. The powerful extension mechanism ensures that all the entities in the MYOB Advanced system can be exposed via the API, and all of these custom and extended endpoints can be easily ported between different MYOB Advanced sites. If you'd like to learn more, information is available in product, as well as part of our e-learning courses. You can visit the MYOB Developer Center site for more details.